unbelievable, my wonderful people. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu secret meeting with Labour Party leaders. You heard me. Yeah, they don't offer some of the something say we say. Peter will be where you they follow, so you sure say go win. Now, first time presidential candidate seek out. You not get money rich meal. You sure say go win. If you follow me, I have A, B, C, D lined up for you. What will it be? However, you know, say not all secrets, they remain secret forever. It don't they expose. Say where say some Labour Party leaders have been wooed by uh, Shiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu. Uh, Shiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu. Say, come. Okay. Seven takeaways as Tinobu meets organized, you know, Labour Party leaders, reveal plans for Nigerians, give them, you know, opportunity to join his trade, to join his, uh, to join his move. And what he intends to do for Nigeria to do for them. Well, all has been brought to, to the knowledge of each and every one of us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. A very devastating information has just been released into the public space of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu having meetings with Labour Party leaders in Abuja. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, meet with Labour Party leaders in Abuja ahead of 2023 elections. When the Labour Party's leaders, the former Lagos State Governor said he is the most qualified to lead Nigeria among the presidential candidates and seek, desire and want their support. That he would do them well and ensure that Nigeria becomes a better place. Every one of them will benefit greatly from his government. Comrade Iyaro Wambi Festus Osifo leads the two Labour Party associates, the NLC and the NUC, to the event. Can you imagine? All the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu has urged the organized labor to pitch his tent with him in the 2023 presidential election, saying he has a track record of good governance and he wants to replicate such. He urged the NLC and, U and NUC to support him. A statement sent to lead Nigeria by Tinubu's media officer indicates that the former Lagos State Governor said this during a town hall meeting with organized Labour Party members as at the Chad Hotel Conference Center in Abuja on Monday, December the 19th. He promised to ensure that they enjoyed the administration very well. The section which was used to dis discredit to the sign to the people, Tinubu Shetima's action plan for a better Nigeria was well attended by the labor leaders from Nigerian Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress, among others, who have already endorsed Peter Obi, Comrade Iyabo, Wambi, and Festus Osifu led the two labor associates to the event. Previously, Tinubu has met with them privately before they came for this event. The presidential candidate, the, the vice presidential candidate, Senator Kashim Shetima, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Wajagba Mila, Governor Simeon Lelong, Atiku Badigu, Baba Abubakar, and others were there at the meeting and pledged these people, the NUC and N, the NUC and LSE, to support Tinubu that they will never regret it. It's a promise to them. So this is what is going on. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Remember that these people, the labor and the rest, have already endorsed Peter Obi. That they've already joined. These people have endorsed Peter Obi and they've joined on in the train, in the wagon, saying, yes, we move, we move, we're going together. However, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu has met with some of them now had a big meeting for them in Abuja and has urged them to join his tree and that um, he will he will make sure that they enjoy the administration in a small way. Uh, reveal to them his plans, expose to them what he intend to do and why he should be supported. And many people, you know, of course, uh, it's a time of selling yourself and your candidacy to your people. 
you know, many have uh, come out to say oh, we, we, we will, you know, they did not quite conclude in that matter. But, you know, the, the cards have been laid. The cards have been laid out and um, it's up to you. OK, when you go for a buffet, I'm not to tell you what to eat. The reason is a buffet is because you will uh, you have the opportunity to make a pick and a chance to choose what you want to eat. So when you get there, you can just go straight to where you have the bush meat. And you say, you know what, I've not eaten it for the past two years. Let me eat it to my full. Somebody else will go to exactly where they snail and say, wow, I'm going with white meat. Another person will go straight for the chicken. Somebody else will say, no, 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 fish does it for me. You know, so I'm not the one to tell you that, no, nobody touches the beef until the chicken is over. No, it's called a buffet. The table has been laid. You go there, as long as it is available, you help yourself to some. You know, so these are some of the things that are happening. And as Shiwaju Ahmed Bolatin, if you ask me, he's playing his card well. He's a good politician. And so he knows the people to meet. He would not want to speak to Nigerians as he should be, but he's going around secretly meeting those that matters. You know, going to meet them and telling them, hey, support me for the days ahead so that uh, you will blah, 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 blah. So these are things that are coming up and every single one of us can see for ourselves, you know. But again, there is a catch to it. Whatever decision we decide to make, hey, sweetheart, we will live with the consequences of the decision we are making. We will live with it. You will live with it. I will live with it. We will live with it. When in 2015, we all went ahead and said, or most of us, I would not want to, come to generalize it went ahead and said, yo, it's time, Mo. Ah, we must vote Buhari. Buhari has good plans, not knowing that the guy, whatever was written there was written for him. He doesn't even have a clue. Okay, he doesn't even have a clue what is being said about. And we thought that the plans were, in fact, is evident for all to see, not knowing that it was a mirage. There was never any truth in any of, that, of those things. And at the end of the day, we all are testation to how insecurity is ravaging the country. Every single person, old, young. I mean, I heard of a couple, okay, they just newly wed, they just got married and they were kidnapped. And um, the family did not really have much. They were only able to raise 7.5 million. They paid the 7.5 million to the very kidnappers or whatever. Guess what? They still took the life of the couple. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Bye for now.